jump. Top and back punch. I don't think anybody has any idea what this insulation deal is going to be. Especially looking at the geopolitical implications of the Ukraine invasion. Uh, the market's down. Something I can't read it, so I'm not interested. The stock market's down. Uh, so I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this all the time, and, and you know, looking at rates, looking at you know, different things. I run across something in the in the on WLAF today. Uh, I wasn't aware it was about to happen. I, I saw where the city is going to consider adding two holidays to their holidays, and we have normally. Uh, followed the city's holiday schedule. We get 12. They, uh, they have uh, added, uh, they're looking at any President's Day and Columbus Day. Now, I'm not asking the board tonight to add those holidays. I just want you to be aware that that's out there. And that may be something uh, I don't know that we'll be pressured by anyone to do. It may be something that, that you want to think about. Discussions on budget every month. Uh, I look at the budget and uh, project the best we can. That's 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 not written in stone anywhere, yeah. or even written on paper anywhere. But normally we have followed the city's uh, holiday schedule. What do you all do at the house? Um, we we do. And the reason I threw that out there as far as the budget goes, you, know, you might think, well, you close the office today, it's not that bad button, you're paying a, a dispatcher, you're paying an extra day of standby, you know, to, to three, three people in the electric department, two in the water department. Uh, so I mean, probably not enough to move the needle, so to speak, from a budget standpoint, but something to think about. I think they just need to do it already. Uh, not holding that thought for maybe next month. <laughs> 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 I shouldn't see. <laughs> but okay. Next month will be fine. Okay. Uh, let's 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 monitor what they what they do, and then we'll. Uh, we'll uh, that's my opinion. I say that you know you all know, decision maker on that obviously, but uh, if, if I had the vote, I would say let's let's defer any type of decision on that. Is this coming up pretty soon? Uh, they're discussing it tonight, and I think they're doing it tomorrow. <laughs> No, not tonight. Monday night. Monday night. I'm used to having it on Monday night. Yeah, we're off. We've got a great going to Washington. Tonight's working on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tonight's working on the Okay. As you saw in the packet I sent out, uh, the only item that we have is the interlocal governmental agreement between the Folly Tills Board and Campbell County Government. Uh, it spells out the details and specifics of our arrangement in sharing the costs of, uh, and the management of the water line projects that can, the can will fund up to $3 million through their American Rescue Plan funds. We will fund up to $3 million through a state revolving fund loan slash grant. Uh, of course, we know what the, the, the planning and engineering part is going to be a 50% loan forgiveness and uh, 1-2% uh, interest rate. The construction piece, we're not sure. Uh, we're going to put a call in to Alan Sanders from the Ministry of Health and Partners tomorrow. Been, uh, had some correspondence by email with him. We're not sure exactly what the loan forgiveness part of the construction piece will be on construction. <coughs> there will be a loan forgiveness out there, and we're not sure what the interest rate will be. But, uh, we'll be talking about that in over the next probably 90 days. Uh, as far as construction goes, they're, they're working on the engineering now. Uh, I don't know if any construction will take place. I'm concerned that, uh, with material, not only prices, but material availability. Uh, all of you probably have a story of something that you can't get. I hear David talk about uh, breakers, 
a normal January would have 841 heating degree days, and, and that's, that's just an additive number that basically takes uh, the difference between the temperature and 65 degrees for the day. If it's below it, that's a heating degree day. If it goes above it, it's a cooling degree day. So that is a normal January. Well, you can look this year, we had 878 heating degree days as compared to 779 heating degree days from last year. But here's an interesting thing. We actually had three cooling degree days. And I looked at the degree day report, and I think the uh, New Year's Day, it was above 65 degrees. Mm -hmm. January was a very, very cold month. Uh, the weather had warmed up when people went to the box this month to get their January bill. So there's some sticker shock, you know. So folks uh, normally usually get a $150, $200 bill, I got a $400, $450. So there were days in January. If you heat with electricity, there were days in January that your heat almost didn't kick off. It might maybe this for a little bit. So it's normal this time of year, and you can look at these numbers to justify that. And we use those to help our customers understand, you know, what the temperature was on these days, and we can even pull readings from their from their individual homes and meters and show how many kilowatt hours they used in that particular day. And we can do comparisons from months before, years before, or whenever. Okay. Next uh, next page is the. Income statement, and you can see I projected a net income of $125,000 at Lord have mercy. Remember I told you there's going to be a month coming, that number. We had some big numbers in one month. This is the correction month. And I say, how did you have to have a loss like that? Well, if you look at year to date, we're right on just a little above what we had projected. Okay, TVA reads their meters at midnight on the last day of the month. We read our meters in cycles. So some of these... Uh, uh, these cold, cold days will actually get billed in the month of February, whereas if, if we read everybody's meter at midnight on the last day of the month, we would have a true matching principle between power cost and revenue. So look to see that change next month. You'll have revenues that are probably higher and the power costs are lower because there have been some cold days in February, but it's not been what we had in January. January was pretty cool. All right, next page. Uh, total assets, $92.3 million, uh, compared to $83.2 billion in the year. And the biggest bulk of that comes down here where we, where we did the uh, $6.75 million uh, bond issue uh, to pay for capital profits over the next two or three fiscal years. All right, your cash flow statement takes your accrual basis loss reconciles it back to the cash basis and you can see we actually had a net cash increase of four hundred and thirty eight and a half thousand dollars in year to date one point four million now at the end of February you're going to see this number go this way because that's when a, a bulk of our bond payments come out I think uh, as of Monday we'll have over three million dollars worth of bond payments come out of that and one of those is uh, a bond issue that will be paid off completely it's, it's the one that will really reduce our, our uh, bond principal payments for right, a million dollars a year. All right, any questions on the electric system? All right, so water and sewer. You see we have 10,245 water customers, 10,129 a year ago, so you're still right at this little bump below 1% uh, is in growth in the number of water customers. 3,583 sewer customers compared to 3,508, so that number is flat. Uh, your sales and volume, 34.7 million gallons of water compared to 35.2 a year ago. 13.5 million gallons of sewer compared to 13.7, that's, that's what was billed for. Uh, revenue for the month, $376,405 compared to $376,757 a year ago. And sewer 176, 625 compared to 180, 698 a year ago. Year to date, we've sold about 265 million gallons of water compared to 261.3 a year ago. And sewer 99.6 million gallons compared to 98.1 million a year ago. And we have a uh, revenue is, is fairly close, a little bit more than what we had last year, 2 million 752 compared to 2 million 713. And sewer two, uh, I'm sorry, one million two seventy four compared to one million two fifty three 
look at our, these are your cash balances, and I won't read all those out uh, for the uh, electric system, and this is for water wastewater. Alright, uh, as with the electric system, same thing, we had a net loss for the month. Uh, 20,000, 829, of course that includes $75,000 worth of depreciation. So you'll see that we do cash flow, water, and wastewater. Uh, the projected net income for water was 127,408. The actual was 73,044. Next page, uh, the sewer was closer to where we had projected, an $8,900 loss, which includes $59,000 worth of depreciation. And year to date, a $36,000 net loss compared to right at $40,000 budget. All right, our total, uh, total assets, $34.9 million compared to $35.3 that we started the year with. And uh, cash flow wise, you can see your accrual basis net income numbers for the month and year to date. <coughs> Adjust them back to the cash basis so we increased our cash by $188,000 uh, in the, the month, and for the year, it's been right at $94,500. So, that's the financials. No questions, comments. And I believe, Madam Chair, I don't know what the code chairperson
he always stayed to the ground when we when we got into the water. But we a few years back we decided to do a water line committee, and we, it was instrumental in a lot of it. And a lot of commissioners sit here tonight also. And we we know we didn't have the money uh, without raising taxes. But it's been a blessing. This ARP fund has been a blessing. I've said it before it's been a blessing and a curse because uh, everybody wants a part of it. And then maybe part of it, Kenny's probably went over with you tonight, but getting the water line in is going to be a hard job to do. Uh, just getting the pipe in. But as far as the commission, I would really appreciate LUB working with the county commission because we could not perform this. We are not a water entity. Uh, you all are. And I appreciate the board for, for doing things to help us out. And not just help us, but help the citizens in that first and second we applaud you from our hearts. Uh, we do. And Mr. Goins, I can't say enough about him. Uh, Kenny usually stirs him up to Katie's, and then he gets mad at me at night. <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, we work together. We we overcome some obstacles and got some things done. And uh, it'll be, make it better for Campbell County. Make it better for the utilities. And I appreciate y'all. I, I, I'm speaking for all the commissioners, and I really do. I know you just have to have some long evenings too and this research and figuring out what's going on. But uh, and we'll have more, hopefully. We got some more money that hopefully coming down in June, July, that we can start on the second phase. But thank you so much. Well, as chair, I'd like to thank you for being here and representing the county the way you do. I'm happy to have you. Thank Great. you for coming. Do we have a motion to adjourn? A motion to adjourn. We have a second. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Aye.